Okay, today I'm gonna be doing quotes. To achieve, oh, sorry. To achieve what you have not, you must become what you are not. You have to grow into your goals. By Darren Harlan. So many of us are in denial of what goals should be. Now, goals aren't there just to obtain more objects, more. I mean, if you're materialistic, yeah, that's okay for you. You know, I'm not bashing on that. No, I'm not. For me, my happiness is growth and progress. I want to grow. I want to achieve my goals. You know, if you look up what success actually means, then you understand. You know, most people look at uh, uh, people who have cars, uh, who have lots of money, or who have you know college degree. They consider successful. They can be. But if they're not happy inside, they're not. You know, they're not successful. But you know, goals should be there for growing who you are, growing your awareness, growing. You know, I consider goals as for me. Let's say if I want to achieve this type of goal, those goals are there for me to be able to develop my skills, my knowledge, my awareness, and who I am. You know, you know why? Because I will attract better people into my life. I want to associate with like-minded people like you. If you're watching this, if you're in personal development, I want to attract those. You know, if we don't have a goal, it's not whether you shouldn't have a goal and it doesn't happen. See, most people believe it's a misconcept. It's a misunderstanding that you know if you have a goal things don't happen of course things don't happen the way you expect it to right or expect it to in the time frame that we think it should right sometimes i want to do this and sometimes things doesn't happen over the here you know sometime but i still know that along in the future it will happen it just doesn't happen right now i know that sometimes uh we get too impatient about you know success I think it's about, you know, I hear Gary Vee talk about success, uh, success as patient, you know. You don't put in patient. And then I know that we're not good at patient. We want things right away, you know. For instance, <laughs> free shipping on online, um, Amazon, not knocking off that. But, you know, goals are there to develop your, uh, who more of who you are. You know, goals are there to bring out the uh, better you, you know, the best version of yourself. It make you develop into the type of person that you admire, that you love, you know. And the, the goals are there to also bring out the potential that you never thought you had. You know, they're, they're there for you to climb and to develop, to fall. You know, goals are there, I mean, of course you're going to fall. What you expect that every time it's going to succeed. Of course, you know, I fell many times, you know, trying to achieve my goals, you know. At first, I make so many mistakes. Oh my God, I was embarrassed. I was like, "What am I doing?" It's because I want to. <laughs> I usually attack first. I mean, I of course I learn um, how to uh, do, but then if I want to do something really bad, I actually attack without learning. But then over, I learn and adjust, fall, learn and adjust, right? And oh my God, it was embarrassing. But now, I think I got it. So, and in order to achieve your wildest dream i believe that you have to have some balls or if you're a woman you know. but you got to be able to be a brave enough now in your mind you'd be like how can i'm gonna achieve this well that's why i'm here you know like my channel my channel is about genesis uh, personal transformation it's the beginning of you transforming of who you are you know it's about taking that part you never thought that you had and pulling it out of you you never thought that you had you know it's about making you better and making you aware that you have this something inside of you that you you can bring into your awareness that's me you know i never had the skill i never had the knowledge you know i was in school but I was skipping school too much, you know, and I was a special ed. You know, I never had, I never thought I would be able to intellectually uh, understand how my brain works or intellectually understand uh, 
knowledge, right? I, I, I didn't understand how can I absorb more knowledge into my brain and keep it for, you know, turn into not short-term memory, but to long-term memory or to create habits. I didn't understand. You must believe that you can, but you also have to develop in order to reach your goals. I believe you have to consistently pursue it and pers uh, you have to it's like it's a burn I, I feel it every time I want to achieve a goal it's like a burning desire and it's like it won't make me want to but it's called follow up right let's put it this way goals are there so you can follow up with your dreams or goals follow up what's follow up well meaning let's say if I want to meet a person or um, uh, the person who I want to meet with, I follow up with a message. Like, hey, you remember we're going to do this? And if they forget, we say, hey, you remember that we're going to do this? And uh, keep following up until you want them to do, well, not do, but gently guide you where you want them to go. It's not easy, but it can be done. It's like that. You have to follow up with your dreams. And dreams are there for you to become aware of more who you are, you know. That's why I remember Les Brown said, you're here because, you know, something God, um, you're a vessel for God, you know. And Bob Proctor said, you're, what what God want, um, what is God? God is creation, so we're here to create in God's, you know, you know, it's, you know we never imagined that our life, it's like a huge campus, like, if if we take out weekends and uh, I know of, uh, our life are busy, if we take out week uh, weeks or days, we can create those days. You know, we can create our life what we want it to be. We can predict our future, right? But we have to be present now. Sometimes it's hard for me to be present. Of course, I think they have a book on the power of now. Be present, right, in the moment. Of course, I'd be present in the moment, like laughing with my brothers and stuff like that. I'm present. But when I'm, I'm always toward the future, you know, like Brian Tracy said, people, successful people always think about the future. You know, I'm always thinking about the future, you know, trying to reach it. Um, it's because, you know, I never had any goals. I never had any ambition. You know, back then when I was, uh, when, you know, it's funny, when <laughs> When I was a teenager and I was talking to my ex, I remember I told her, I want my life to be simple. I want to live life a simple life. And she, you know, she said, no, life, you, you, life can't be like that. I just laugh. But she was right. Life is not simple. And you have to work hard. But not hard, but actually work hard and smart. You know, those combinations, we can't get that out of our life. But also, not just work hard and smarter, but we also have the strategy and play to be able to strategically to achieve what we want to achieve, right? I believe that you can achieve what you want to achieve, but you have to believe in that. You have to believe. The only reason why we don't believe in our ability to achieve something or a skill because we never actually try to. Sure, we try to do it, but we fail. But it's not in failing, it's in pursuing and failing and trying and seeing what it will become. Because after you become that, you see that you can bring out something more of you, your magnificent brain of yours. Because your brain is so amazing that it will help you... Um, uh, achieve your goals, right? So today is my mo uh, message: is that you gotta do something that you never done before. Don't be afraid. You know, life is about taking calculated risk, right? It's not about risky movement, but it's calculated. Sometimes it doesn't look like calculated. Sometimes, right? So subscribe to my channel, like my video, and I'll see you.